Hey guys, welcome to my 2018 Durban vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's going to be mostly voiced over because I didn't speak that much for some reason, but either way, I hope you guys enjoy. As you can see, it was really early in the morning when we left to go to the airport in Cape Town, which is about an hour away from where we live. Um, our flight was at 9.30, but yeah, as you can see, this is what I was wearing. It's inspired by Key from Shiny on the Idol Room episode. But yeah, we ended up eating at Spur because we had time to spare. I just had a latte because I had eaten breakfast before we left and I saw this plane taking off which was really 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 cool. Our flight sadly ended up getting delayed and we were really frustrated so um, we went to the lounge and we just stayed there and chilled and we were actually allowed extra time because our flight ended up getting delayed five hours. Needless to say we were absolutely just like so frustrated but thank goodness eventually we got a plane it was kind of falling apart no it was like not that new i guess uh but you know at least we had a plane and it wasn't a long flight and i took my usual window seat and all was good and we were finally on our way to durban After a very, very short flight, we finally arrived at King Shaka International Airport in Durban. And my parents were really excited because they met in Durban. My mom grew up in Durban, so this was going to be an awesome vacation for us. But we eventually collected our luggage, which we were all glad was there, and made our way to our Airbnb, which was amazing. I wasn't expecting a place like this, um, but I was very happy. This was my room. I had a beautiful window and an awesome bathroom with a bath, which was great because we can't bath in the Western Cape because of the drought. And we had a kitchen, a dining room, and a living room, which was, the couch was so comfy. And we had a balcony and this is my parents' room, really fancy smanchy with a bathroom. They didn't have a bath though, um, so I was the lucky one. And then yeah, this is our balcony with a view. It's absolutely gorgeous. We could see the beach and there was multiple hotels surrounding us, which are actually hotels my parents worked at. And one of them, my parents actually got married in, which was really awesome. Like that's where they had their service after the, um, well, that's where they had the party after the, like the official ceremony. But yeah, uh, the sun started to set. So we just stayed in for the night. Next morning we were in a rush because we needed to get Ed Sheeran tickets which we didn't get because it was sold out so quickly. Luckily, he released a second day and I managed to go to that concert, which was amazing. But after that, we ended up just driving around to explore the city where my parents met. Uh, we have drew, drove through the neighborhood where they lived. It was really awesome and it was actually really beautiful and it kind of touched my heart a bit. I was like, this is where my parents met and fell in love. So the next two houses that you'll be seeing are houses where my parents lived when they were at university. They studied hotel management and my dad was actually my mom's boss in a hotel. So yeah, and this is the church where they had their wedding ceremony. It was very sentimental. And this is a hotel where my dad was the manager. He was the big man. And then my mom was like a waiter or something at the restaurant. But then we went to have lunch at a restaurant um, in Durban. They had like sushi and stuff, but I think I just ended up having pasta. And we went for a walk along the promenade and there was this really cool lighthouse. 
That evening, uh, we were gonna go to a Greek restaurant. This was my outfit. I was loving this outfit. And we ended up going for drinks beforehand um, at this bar. It was really, really nice. And I don't know if you can see the Greek, re no, you can't. The Greek restaurant's like just down there. But at the restaurant, we had a lot of um, little foods. And there was this guy who set the floor on fire, like right next to our table and was walking around as if the floor wasn't on fire. And I was like, dude, the floor's on fire. Obviously, he knew what he was doing, and then I decided to pathetically try and like throw a plate onto the floor, but I look like an idiot. I ended up going home, and I watched The Perks of Being a Wallflower because I had just read the book. The next morning, uh, we were going to the beach, so this was my outfit. there was a surfing competition we ended up seeing this guy jump like really really high with a surfboard it was insane i think he broke a record or something but yeah we ended up having lunch with my grandparents um at a cute little restaurant we all had curry because apparently the curry was really good it was the uh, salt rock hotel they had a restaurant there that's open to the public really good food i highly recommend it and also beautiful views that evening i dressed up a little bit I guess you could say a little bit for how I'm dressed, but um, we ended up going to a music festival which had a variety of South African artists that I really like, like Sketchy Bongo, Timo ODV, really good stuff. And afterwards, we just ended up going to a Chinese restaurant to get food because we were starving. But the Chinese restaurant ended up giving us food poisoning. The next day was yet another beach day. This was my outfit. I saw a lot of people wearing this, so I decided to try it out. Um, I'm actually not much of a beach bum. I actually not the biggest fan of the beach, but it was such lovely weather and the beaches in Durban are so nice and the water is actually warm because it's on the Indian Ocean. And I ate Doritos like 24 seven to the time that I like got sick of them. But then we forced my dad to get into the water, um, which he did not really want to do because it was kind of cold, but he braved it and he eventually managed uh, to dive in and swim like his life depended on it. Look at him go, go dad, yes, go dad. Yes, dad, get that, get that ish, go dad. Then we ended up stopping at a Simply Asia restaurant, which is like a Thai food place. And I found this real weird drink, but it tasted really good. And I really liked it. My parents were like, what? My mom and I went grocery shopping. We walked there and back, which was kind of tiresome because we didn't realize how far away the mall was. And basically, we just chilled for the rest of the day because uh, it was around about four o'clock and we were full of sand and beach and we were exhausted. So I ran myself a bath, um, which was awesome. And I watched a whole bunch of Shane Dawson, vi Shane Dawson videos. <laughs> yeah. But that's also exactly when my parents would like, Tyler, we're going down to the beach again, let's go. Uh, luckily there was just like a five minute walk down to the beach. So me and my freshly bathed body Decided to go get all sandy again, which I was not the happiest about, but it's fine. I actually really ended up enjoying it, watching the sunset on the beach. The next day, we uh, went to the beach again. Wow. We went to a beach in Belito. It was packed. So many people. And we ended up eating at this restaurant that had like a Mozambique cuisine, um, which was really good. And they kept on playing songs like Despacito, which, you know... The next day we went to my most absolute favorite place ever, especially when I was a child, Ushaka, which is a water park. You can barely get water parks, especially since there's a drought in the Western Cape, so you don't really experience much water at all. So you could say I was thriving and I got this temporary tattoo. I can't remember why, but I did. But 
unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. And we had to pack up and leave our Airbnb. I was really sad because I loved it in Durban. It was so sunny compared to the rainy, kind of gloomy Western Cape, Cape Town kind of place. So I was really sad. Our last stop was this cute little cafe called uh, Vervotello. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Where they make their own like bread, which is really cool. You can even see the bakers. And they made friends with a little pigeon that came to say hi with us. He was really cute. But I didn't feed him anything because I didn't want him to get the wrong idea. <laughs> And off to the airport we go. Hmm. Ended up buying Love, Simon, the, like the book, because I want to read the book before I watch the movie. And I read the whole book at the airport and on the plane, which I'm pretty impressed by because, and it was really good. I really enjoyed it. And then we made our sad journey back home to our house. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this video inspires you to also travel to Durban. It's a really wonderful place and I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. Thank you. Bye.